So think about your game. How does testing look right now? Chances are that you're writing code within Visual Studio, then you switch back to Unity, the compilation takes some time, after that you launch the game, which also takes some time, then eventually you need to skip the menu of the game, walk with a character to a specific spot, then you stop the game, do some fixes in your code, and you restart the whole process. But can you see that this is so time consuming? What if you can do thousands of tests within not more than one second? Wouldn't that be great? And that is where automated testing comes into play. But what is automated testing? Actually, it's the practice of writing code to test your code. And then those tests are automatically executed by your computer within only a few seconds. So on the one side, you have the code of your game, which is also called the production code. And on the other side, there is the test code, which tests your production code. Why should you write test code if you can launch the game and check manually if everything is okay? Actually, there are many benefits of automated testing. As mentioned before, you can test your code in less time. Also, you will catch bugs very early. The later you find a bug in your project, the more expensive it is to fix. Then you will gain confidence in refactoring. Make your changes, rerun the tests and check if you broke something. All in all, chances are good that the quality of your code and the quality of your game will increase. Okay, let's do an example. Here we have a point calculator class. The class has one method, calculate total points. The method takes three parameters. First, the killed enemies. Second, the killed villagers. And third, a multiplicator. We start with zero points. For each killed enemy, you get 100 points. Each tenth enemy gives you another 500 points. And for each killed villager, you lose 100 points. If you've killed more than 10 villagers, the multiplicator is resetted. Lastly, we multiply the points with the multiplicator and return the result. Now let's write tests for this method. Test scripts are editor scripts, so they need to be placed within an editor folder. Within assets, create a new folder. Call it editor. Within that folder, create a new script, point calculator tests. Open the script with a double click. Import the end unit framework. Get rid of the mono behavior inheritance and create a new method called calculate total points underscore test and mark it with the test attribute. Back in Unity, open the test runner. Switch to the edit mode tab. There you should see your calculate total points test. Select it and run the test by clicking run selected. The test passes. Before we implement the test, let's talk about the general structure of tests. Normally tests are divided into three parts. In the arrange part, you prepare the test. You set up a primed configuration. There you create dependent objects and define the preconditions and inputs. The act section is the interesting part. There you call the method under test. In the assert phase you ensure that your expectations are met. You assert that the expected results have occurred. In the range part of our test, we create the point calculator object. Then we specify the killed enemies, killed villagers and the multiplicator. We expect that we get 100 points for each killed enemy, 500 extra points for each tenth enemy, 100 minus points for each killed villager and the result is then multiplied by the multiplicator of 2. Then in the act section, we call the calculate total points method and pass the killed enemies, killed villagers and multiplicator. We also store the result in a new variable. In the assert phase, we assert that the points are equal to the expected points. Ok, since we are done, we can rerun our test. The test passes and we can be sure that our method calculates the points as expected. Did you notice that we have never launched our game? And after some months, when you add more and more code to your game, you can rerun this test 
and check if your calculate total points method is still working. Lastly, I want to show you a rough overview of different types of tests. We have just created a unit test. A unit test always tests only one method. You should have plenty of them in your project. Then there are integration tests. Integration tests test the correct interoperation of multiple subsystems. So there you test the integration between two classes or even two or more modules. Normally you don't have as many integration tests as unit tests. Integration tests will be covered in another tutorial. Lastly, there are end-to-end -end tests. In end-to-end -end tests, you test the finished game. So you run the game and simulate the user's input. For most games, those tests are pretty hard to implement. And on top of that, there should be some manual tests. Keep in mind that it seems like there is no clear consensus on the different types of tests in Unity. So this is only my personal interpretation. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something and maybe see you on our Patreon page, subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on social media. That would be awesome. Give us a like for this video and subscribe to our channel. So see you the next time. Have a nice day. It's your sensei.